Good evening folks, welcome to another episode of Beer Reading with Sean Connors. The beer I have tonight is another one from my beer box. Now if you're not a regular viewer, you're probably wondering what my beer box is. What it is, basically I joined a beer club. So every month they send me a dozen beer. It's usually six different beers from three different breweries. So each brewery gives two beers, two of each. So me and my buddy went half. So he gets six beer, I get six beer. Uh, last night I actually did the first beer of the box. It's my second box. And I showed all the beers, and this was one of them. So the one we're going to do tonight is Imperial City Brew House Canadian Pale Ale at 5.5% alcohol. Uh, brewed in Sarnia, Ontario. It says, so either you're reading this label to pretend you know your beer or you're a bona fide beer snob. Either way, Imperial City Brew House has a beer for you. Proudly crafted, rigorously sampled by four friends who let passion Pave the way to bring you the very best selection of delicious. Enjoy. Now, Canadian Pale Ale, I don't know if I've ever had one. I know I've had pale ales from Canada, so whether or not they're considered Canadian Pale Ale, I assume so, but I've never had one that was labeled or classified as a Canadian Pale Ale. And a little bit of research, a little bit Google search, they say they're similar to American Pale Ales, which are a little bit more bitter than British Pale Ales, but you're not going to get the bitterness or the hoppiness as you would an IPA, I mean, you mean Pale Ale. Um, the beer box, it actually came with a newsletter which tells me a little bit about each brewery and the beer itself. So this one would say Imperial City. It says, with humble beginnings, a team at Imperial City Brew House started as a backyard passion project. They say Matt, Mike, Craig, and Kyle started brewing on a wood-fired old, wood, old world brewing system. The days spent brewing and, of course, enjoying the finished product often include discussions about what their dream brewery would look like. Over time, this dream came true. Pen met paper, pen met paper, paper turned into hands-on labor. Their team, alongside the skilled tradesmen of Sarnia, built what is now Imperial City Brew House. The team adopted Sarnia's nickname of the Imperial City as a nod to Sarnia's regal history. They are honored to be part of the Sarnia's growing history and proudly claim that Imperial City Brew House takes pride in providing the best selections of premium craft beer. And a little bit they say on the city itself, I'm uh, sorry, on the beer itself. As I said, 5.0% alcohol. It says anticipate a flory, fruity, piney, citrus like hop characters. I don't know what else there is. You got floral, fruity, piney, and citrus. This triple hopped IPA style beer is all about hop flavor. Aroma and bitterness while maintaining the usage of local hops and Canadian ingredients. So they say it's an IPA style beer. Now, right off the get go, full disclosure, IPAs are not my favorite beers. If I had to list all my favorite beer styles, IPAs would be towards the bottom of the list. So get that out there right away. All right, I'm going to give my glass a quick cold water rinse as per usual. My handy dandy glass rinser. Crack it open. I'm hoping it's not as bitter or hoppy as an IPA, but we'll find out in a second. Nice golden color. Nice foamy head. Aroma. De definitely getting a hoppiness aroma. Um, possibly some citrusy, possibly some woodsy piney type thing. That's for the aroma. Let's see how it tastes. Um, it's definitely, definitely hoppy. In all honesty, if I um, didn't know what I was drinking, I would assume it was an IPA. Like I said, not top of my list, however, IPAs and stouts for me, they're one of these beers, I do enjoy a good stout every now and then, but that's the key word, every now and then. Sometimes, like stout, not a chance in hell, other times I have a craving for uh, a stout, and I enjoy a good stout. And as I said, I, IPAs are not my favorite style of beer, this is a Canadian Pale Ale, but like I said, if I didn't know, I think I was drinking IPA from the hoppiness. However... I'm starting to get to the point where 
I actually crave it a little bit every now and then. Not very often, as I said, it's not my go-to beer. But every now and then, because in all honesty, the hoppiness kind of too much hoppiness kind of turns me off. But with that being said, I'm starting to get the point where every now and then I actually crave the hoppiness. So I guess my beer beer desires are growing type of thing. Probably not the right word. I won't go say beer vocabulary, but that's not it. But you get my as I sample new beers, my um, my locker of beers is growing type of thing. The ones I enjoy. Um, still a little bit too hoppy for my liking, but I have to give it a rating, and I always find IPA is kind of hard to rate, where I am not a huge fan, but at the same point, I don't want to give it a low rating, just because I don't like IPA, so I try to get a rating compared to other IPAs. Um, try, but it's hard to do. My ratings are out of five, one's a drain pour, don't like you can't finish it. At two, is like, yeah, I'm not a bad, big fan, but I'll finish it. A three is a good beer, four is a very good beer, and five would be the best beer ever. And obviously, no matter what rating I give it, I think if I was an IPA fan, I think obviously I'd give it a higher rating. Um, it's not a bad beer, but it's an IPA. Rating wise, I think I'm going to give it a 3.0. I'm enjoying it, it's a decent beer. I think if it was IPA fan, I'd probably maybe give it a little bit higher. So I'm kind of going to stick with the average 3.0, which means it's a good beer. It's definitely one to try if you can get your hands on it. Locally, I don't know if you're going to find them here in Newfoundland, but you never know, you might come across it. Or, as I mentioned last night, if anybody's interested in Beer Club, I actually have a, a, a coupon that came with it. So let me know. I think it's only good for one shot. Basically, you save 25 bucks. If you do a six or twelve month membership, so there you go, folks. Three point zero for Imperial City Canadian Pale Ale. It says keep cold, drink fresh. Till next brew, as always, enjoy responsibly. Cheers.